If you need money in GTA 5, check out cdkeys.com, there's a link in the description where you can find the cheapest shark cards and all the latest games. Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now from today, there's some brand new content available in GTA Online when you log in. For starters, the tale of us have now arrived in town and can now be booked in your nightclub to perform. There's also a brand new radio station as well, the Los Santos Underground, and there are also two brand new vehicles as well, the Enna Stafford and the Blimp, which we'll be taking a look at in today's video, as you can see from the title. But we're going to be discussing why you should not buy this vehicle, and I'm going to be going over all the reasons why you should avoid spending any money whatsoever on the blimp. So for starters then, it's available from today. Make your way to the Elitist Travel website where you'll find it now listed. There's a buy it now price and a trade price, which we'll talk about now in a few moments. But as you can see, you can purchase this blimp in various different liveries. I've already purchased it with the Sprunk Extreme livery, as you just saw a few moments ago. That's my favorite out of all the liveries available. There are a total of eight. And no matter which one you choose, the buy it now and trade price does not change. As you can see, the buy it now price is $1,190,350. The trade price though is $895,000 and that I believe can be unlocked after completing 10 of the management missions in your nightclub. So it's not too difficult and if you are going to buy it then of course I'd recommend doing that. It saves you a few hundred thousand dollars. But personally, it's not worth buying at all, whether you buy it at 900,000 or just over a million dollars, it is just going to be a complete waste of money and one of those items you'll only use once or twice, like much of the content the Rockstar have released over the past few years, because this thing isn't useful at all. It's only cool when it's new and it will be a complete novelty and I guarantee anyone who buys one of these within just a few weeks probably won't ever use it again, simply because it's not useful whatsoever. It's one of those things you can fly around for a few minutes but this thing is so slow that you'll soon get bored of doing that. And do bear in mind, if you're in a public lobby, every single person in there, I'm sure, will be trying to shoot you down because, because this thing is just a big target in the sky. It's not very quick either, so it's very easy to shoot at, and they aren't very indestructible. Just one RPG or one homing launcher at it will take it out. So unless you're flying at the sky barrier height where you're out of range, ready for those weapons, then this thing is going to get shot down pretty quickly in public lobbies. It is worth noting though that this version of the blimp that's available online is a little more indestructible than the one that's in single player that's been in game now since the game first released back in 2013. As you can see in this clip being displayed on screen, it will take quite a few shots from most automatic weapons and the LMGs. I don't know the exact number, and obviously it varies per weapon, but it's around 200 rounds, which is certainly a lot more than the one that's in single player. So the online blimp definitely has a lot more health, but like I said, just one shot from an RPG or homing launcher will destroy it. So the blimp is slow, its turning and handling is pretty bad, it's just a massive target in the sky and it's easily shot down. It's pretty expensive and costs over $1.1 million if you haven't unlocked the trade price and this vehicle isn't even classified as a personal vehicle. You cannot store it in your hangar if you own one. This is classified as a Pegasus vehicle. Now we haven't received a Pegasus vehicle in GTA Online in quite some time, possibly over two years. And the reason for that is because Rockstar began began making the previously unstorable vehicles storable in regular garages or added new properties into the game with each update to store select vehicles. The blimp though cannot be stored in any property and is exclusive to Pegasus, so when you want to use it, you have to call a Pegasus and then drive down to the nearest Pegasus pickup point to then get your blimp. And don't forget there is a Pegasus delivery fee of $200 every time. And because this isn't a personal vehicle, it cannot be customized in any way. So nothing can be upgraded, nothing can be changed, what you buy is what you get. Which also means you cannot change the liveries on the blimp. If you want to change the livery, you have to buy another blimp with the livery on it that you want. Now aside from the 8 livery choices and the increased health, the only other difference between the online blimp and the single player blimp are two speakers behind the cabin of the blimp. 
And yes, you can play music through these speakers so other players in the lobby can hear you playing the radio, but you have to be very, very close to those speakers if you want to hear the music. So if you're flying the blimp around and there are players maybe below you or around you, they have to be very, very close. Certainly under 100 meters, maybe even less than that. You have to be extremely close, otherwise you cannot hear it at all. So the blimp is completely useless, it is nothing more than just 5 minutes of fun, and after that you'll probably never use it again. And that's why I would recommend saving your money and avoid buying this altogether. If you want to fly a blimp around in GTA 5, just go into single player where you can get one for free. Anyway, so there we go then guys, with that being said then, that's it for this video, but I want to get your thoughts and feelings on the blimp. Do you guys like it? Do you not? Have you bought one yet? Or will you not be buying one? Let me know why, of course, in the comment section. If you guys could also drop a like on this video as well, it helps me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.